Thank you so much, Ajiman Bedou. Thanks for appearing on the 77% today. Thank you for having me, bro. You have been at the World Cup before. What does it mean for African players uh, to play at the World Cup? I think this is the highest stage in, in football. And as a, as a footballer, that's every footballer's dream to be there to witness this kind of uh, tournament. So it's always great when you get the opportunity and the chance to represent your country. Uh, fortunately for you, you are in a football nation and you have a lot of quality players. So if you are selected to be there to represent your country, it's a plus for your career and to make yourself proud, your family proud, and to make the nation proud. So it's always good to be selected. And you played at the, uh, the, the last time Ghana played at the World Cup 2014. How was the feeling like for you? Because that was your first time playing at the World Cup. Yes, um, I had a sad moment in 2010. Uh, the qualifiers, I scored a lot of goals. So I was in great form. I thought, OK, this is the time maybe I would taste my first African Cup, uh, World Cup. Unfortunately, I got injured at Udinese, so I couldn't. And I said, OK, I'm still young, I have time, so let me just wait for the opportunity. Gradually, I worked very hard, and 2014 was the opportunity for me. And I went to, to Brazil to witness this great um, uh, tournament, and I was very happy to be there. At least in my career, I can be proud of myself that I have also tasted the World Cup. So it was a great moment. Why is it difficult for the African teams to win this trophy? Transition of players to the national team, I think, is one. Um, we, we don't have patience for the players to mature and get this kind of courage, determination to be up there. And we keep changing a lot of players, changing a lot of things. And it is one, but the key factor of this is set pieces. Um, I, have, I have witnessed a lot of the games. I have been there. And if you see how we lose focus when they come to set pieces, it's, it's a key. What other things do you think are needed to better the chances of African teams? Well, you see, build national team is not like a club side that you, you get the players to train every day so you can have this kind of bond with, uh, with them. A national team will come like three, four days, then you have a game, then everybody goes. You may call the team back, then some will get injured, you will not get them back. So a lot of cohesion-wise, it's always difficult to get them. So you need to build your youth teams, the U17, U20, the uh, local teams so that you can get a lot of the guys from the youth 17. Uh, well, Ghana is participating in this year's World Cup. Um, um, they are playing also in the tournament alongside other four African nations. Which of these teams will go far? I'm bowing for Ghana and Senegal. Mm. I think they have the capa capability and the determination to go through and to court surprises in this World Cup. Mm. Uh, why do you say so? Well, when you look at the Senegal team, all round, perfect. They have worked with the coach for more than seven years, so he knows the kind of place he's working with. He knows the kind of, uh, he has worked with them for long, and they have this kind of cohesion. They, they can feel each other on the third. They have a lot of quality. They are playing high profile uh, uh, leagues in Europe. So they just won the African Cup of Nations. They have boosted their morale up. Which of them do you think will go very far? Well, my country, we are taking game after game. Uh, we know on the um, 24th, we have a game against Portugal, and then 28th against South Korea, then we tackle 22nd uh, December against Uruguay. So uh, we are taking game after game. Uh, if we are able to pass through the group, Ghana can go to semi-finals. Um, Senegal. Senegal Yes, they have everything to go to semi-finals. And um, I tip them, if even not semi-finals, they, they will sail through their group to uh, one system. Ajiman Medu, thanks for speaking to 77% show. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure.